Joe James and in this video I'm going to show you how to write a Python program to convert hexadecimal to decimal. Now recall that the hexadecimal number system uses 0 through 9 digits the same as the decimal system does, but after 9 it uses the values A through F to represent 10 through 15 because it's a base 16 number system. Now let's look at a standard hexadecimal base number, 85A2. The rightmost digit represents the ones digit or 16 to the zero. The second digit from the right represents the 16's digit or 16 to the one. In this case, A means 10 in the 16 to the ones digit. The third digit from the right, 16 squared. Fourth digit from the right, 16 cubed, etc. So this number 85A2 in decimal is equal to 8 times 16 cubed plus 5 times 16 squared plus 10, which is the A, times 16 to the 1, plus 2 times 16 to the 0, which is 1, right? 2 times 1. Now it's important to note that this hexadecimal number is going to be represented by a string because there is no A in the decimal number system. So when this is passed into a function to convert it, it's going to be in the form of a string. And we're going to iterate this string starting from the rightmost digit, which is the least significant bit, 16 to the 0. We'll use a loop to iterate through the digits one by one, starting with the 16 to the 0's digit, and then working our way up to the most significant digit. With each digit, we want to first convert it to its decimal value, 2, 10, 5, and 8. So most of these will not require any conversion, but we're going to convert them all anyway because they're a string and we want to convert it to a decimal equivalent value. So we've done that here, 2, 10, 5, and 8. Now we can perform math functions on these. Also, each time through the loop, we're going to increment the power of 16 that we're multiplying by. So the first time through the loop, we'll multiply by 16 to the power 0, and then we'll multiply by 16 to the power 1, and then 2, and then 3. Then with each iteration of the loop, we'll multiply the value of that digit times its weight, 16 to the 0, 16 to the 1, and then we'll add that to our running total. Now let's write our Python program. We'll start by writing a private function called getDecimalDigit that can take a single decimal digit in the form of a string and return the decimal value of that digit. So for example, if it's passed in A, it will return a 10. We'll create a list called digits that contains all of the digits that we might be passed in in the form of a string. So we're going to iterate this list one by one, comparing each one of these list items to the digit that we're passed in until we find a match. So since these are strings, what we want to return is the integer value of the position of the string. So zero is in the zeroth position of the digits list. So we can return the index of zero if a zero is a match. And likewise, f is in the 15th position of the list, so if we're passed in an f and we find that it matches digits of 15, we can just return 15, the index of the f. So we'll set up a loop to iterate through the digits in the list we just created. We compare each item in the list to the digit we're passed in, and if we find a match, we simply return the index of that item. Now we'll write our public hex to decimal function. It'll be passed in a string called hex num. So we'll start by initializing two variables. Decnum is going to be the decimal number that we convert it to. And we're going to initialize that to 0. And then power is going to be the power of 16 that we're multiplying each digit by. And we're going to increment that by 1 each time through our loop. Now for our loop, like I said, we want to start from the rightmost digit, or the least significant digit in the number. So we're going to start from the length of hex num, and we're going to count down to 0 with a negative 1 countdown, right? Iterating through the digits from right to left. And each time through the loop, we're going to add to our decimal number the value of that digit times 16 to the 0 or 16 to the 1 or whatever the position of that digit is. Then we're going to increment our power of 16 by 1 each time through the loop as we move one digit to the left. And that does it for our conversion. Now we simply print the result. And we can call our function. That does it for our hexadecimal to decimal conversion program in Python. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.